This one's blocked. Blocked by Peterson. And picked up back the other way is Chris Boyd. And the Vikings get a shot of life. And Chris Boyd was there for the return of 27 yards. And maybe that's get that gets the Vikings up off the mat. A receiver, top of your screen. Cousins looks to the middle of the field. And he's already run for a first down. Can he run for another one? Can he run for a touchdown? Diving to the end zone. That's a Viking touchdown. Kirk Cousins. First and ten. Saints brought five. Airing it deep for Jefferson. He's got it. The home run ball. Hit from Cousins to Jefferson. He gets him on the go ball. Up the sideline. Almost pulled away from Lattimore there, but a huge play in Cousins. Cousins from the pocket, floating one, and right underneath is Justin Jefferson. On the move and all the way down inside the 15. Get back in there and apply more pressure. Third down and 15, Bridgewater's pass complete. And then Waddle loses the football, and it's recovered by Bynum of the Vikings. Waddle picked up the first down and then turned it over. Osborne, bottom of your screen. Cousins for the other way. And in the end zone, Dalvin Cook hauls it in for a Viking touchdown. Look at that. I mean, the ball placement right there in the one arm. Take it in by Dalvin Cook. Look, you get the one arm held. Oh, I'll just catch it with one hand then. <laughs> There's Cook. Dalvin Cook picks uh -oh. up a first down. Still going inside the 30. Cook inside the 10, the 5. Touchdown. 53 yards in his return home. That last play, 29 yards, by the way, was the long play today for this Minnesota offense. Cousins. He's got it. Touchdown. It does more than is in front with 45 seconds to play. Fields underneath. He finds the former Viking Amir Smith Marset. And it's stripped away by Dantzler. He takes it down into Bears territory. A huge turnover with a minute to go. On first down, Bridgewater over the middle, bobbled. And then a diving attempt at an interception, and Harrison Smith. Whoa, that's close. Boy, that is close. And then from there, it never did touch after that. It hits off Kendrick's helmet.